Hi, I'm Mike, and we're back for another episode of Resuscitation Education. Today, we're going to talk about how to intubate using a video laryngoscope. Now, some of you may be very familiar with the traditional method of intubating using direct laryngoscopy, or perhaps you're new to intubating, and VL will be the technique that you learn first. Regardless of where you are in your intubating career, it's important to know some fundamental differences between the technique for DL and VL so that you can have better first pass success and minimize complications. Now for the purpose of this video we're going to assume that we have done an airway assessment, we have completed a pre-intubation checklist, and have come up with a plan A, B, and C with video laryngoscopy being our plan A. So let's get to it. Now, to introduce VL, I want to talk about four discrete steps that we should use every time we do a VL intubation. Step one, look into the mouth. We want to make sure we gracefully guide the tip of the laryngoscope blade into the mouth, past the tongue without causing any airway trauma or damage to the teeth. The pitfall here is trying to look at the screen too early before guiding it past the tongue. Once you're past the tongue, transition to step two, which is to move your view to the screen. We have little reason to look down into the airway at this point. Identifying airway structures, navigate a view of the glottis. All right, now step three goes back just similar to step one, which is to look in the mouth. We don't want to cause any trauma with our tube. We want to make sure that we're getting back past the tongue, and then we can transition our view back up here to the screen. All right, we can pass the tube through the glottis, and we've successfully intubated the patient. Now, a couple things you may have noticed there is that we don't need to sweep the tongue out of the way with a video uh, laryngoscope method. And another pointer here is that in the event that our screen becomes clogged with uh, debris, we actually, with a Mac 3 or Macintosh 4 blade here, can transition to a direct view and just use direct laryngoscopy to intubate the patient. Now, now I want to talk about uh, a technique that's highly specific to video laryngoscopy and that's the use of a hyperangulated blade. So the CMAX scope here is referred to as the D blade and as you can see the tip of the blade it's just more angulated, and this helps you navigate an anterior airway. Now, with this D blade or hyperangulated blade, we should be using a hyperangulated and rigid stylet. Now, the steps are basically the same. We want to use those same four discrete steps to look into the mouth, navigate behind the tongue, look up at the screen and get a good view. Now the pitfalls here are getting actually too good of a view, being too close to the glottis or having the glottis in a, a grade one view with down in the middle of your screen. You actually want to have the glottic opening in the upper one-third of your screen. Alright, now if you get in here and you're too close, you should you be past the molecule at that point, so you shouldn't be there and you can't get the tube to go in, you need to inch back away from the vocal cords so that you can allow the uh, hyperangulation of this stylet to do its job and curve up past the tip of the D-blade, as you can see. Now, with the hyperangulation, once you get into the vocal cord area, you actually start to go ahead and hit the top of the airway. So once you're through, you may have to use your thumb to back the stylet out slightly and then advance that tube in further. Now when you go to remove either the blade, but especially the stylet, we need to remove this pulling it down towards the patient's foot. That way the curve of the hyperangulation 
doesn't come straight out. It could actually damage the tube or sometimes pull the tube out from the vocal cords. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on video laryngoscopy. Um, check out all of our other how-to videos that we're posting. And until next time, thank you very much. I'm Michael Burton.